This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament and TSD Airsoft. Hello and welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. My name is Tim and today the topic of our discussion is going to be this gun. This is the Ares LMG. Okay, this gun has not been released yet. This is a pre-production sample. Our friends at Ares were gracious enough to let us borrow it for this review. So let's make the most of it. First and foremost, I need to mention, because you can't really see through the screen, is that this gun is extremely light. All right, This thing weighs about 7.5 pounds, no battery, no magazine. But even when you add those things onto the gun, it should, be, should still be in the neighborhood of around 10 pounds or so. That is easily doable for a normal sized person. You no longer need to be a 6 foot tall buff guy to be your squad automatic gunner because this thing weighs almost as much as a normal AEG does. They're able to achieve this weight by building the gun out of a very sturdy nylon fiber that's also very lightweight and aluminum. So the metal <coughs> gives you a very realistic look and finish and the nylon fiber is used to cut weight down drastically. That's an excellent feature for a squad automatic gunner. Next great thing to have if you're a saw gunner is a high capacity magazine. This magazine holds 500 rounds and it is auto winding so there's a button on the back here to push the BBs up into the gun. Pre-production sample, so it's not functioning yet, but obviously when the gun comes out, it will be. Some other great features on this gun include the rail interface system on the front handguard. As you can see, I have rail covers here to protect the side rails, and I have a vertical grip. Don't know if the vertical grip will come with the gun. We'll just have to wait and see, but the wrist is nice to have to give you some control of your gun. As you can see, there's also a rail interface, or a up rail, upper rail that the rear flip sight is mounted onto. You can choose to put your own optics on there if you like. The stock is adjustable to adjust to the comfort level of the shooter. There's a couple of cool features on here that I want to set the gun down and show it to you, so we'll be right back after this commercial break. Alright, welcome back. The reason why I wanted to set the gun down is so I could show you how easy it is to disassemble the barrel from the gun, which makes the barrel easy to clean and it's also actually the first step in installing the battery. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to release the barrel on this gun, all I need to do is push down on this lever right here. As soon as I do that, the barrel is going to slide forward because it is spring loaded. Once I push down on that lever, I can pull the barrel completely out of the gun. There are no screws needed. There are no special tools needed. Very, very simple to clean the barrel on this gun once it's taken apart from the gun. You can run your cleaning rod completely through the barrel and you're not going to miss any spots. You need to disassemble the barrel to install the battery because the battery is a stick type battery that fits into this tube underneath the barrel. Okay, Ares actually recommends a 9.6 milliamp battery. I have an Intellect 9.6 stick battery installed in here probably wondering how I've connected the wires and everything like that and that's actually what I'm getting to. All of the wires and everything are hidden inside the gun right here. Okay, As you can see, just in front of the gearbox I have my battery wires and everything like that. There's plenty of space in here for the wires and the barrel and hop-up assembly. Aries have done a great job designing this gun. And here we are, here we are the 9.6 stick battery. The last feature I'd like to cover about the Ares LMG before I let you go is the feeding nozzle. Okay, Ares have designed a completely new feeding system for this machine gun. Okay, the nozzle on the magazine lines up to a nozzle on the gun, so it works in a similar fashion to a normal AEG. The BBs are fed up through the magazine, through the body of the gun, in front of the gearbox so that it can be fired. Ares have eliminated the need for that coil hose that you traditionally see on squad automatic weapons going from the magazine into the gun. So it gives the gun a much more authentic look. These fake bullets don't need to hide anything. They're really there just for aesthetic reasons. 
The muzzle velocity on this gun should be in the neighborhood of 350 to 380 FPS. Like I said, unfortunately, I can't fire this gun. It is a pre-production sample. The price at this time is also unknown, but be sure to keep your eyes on airsoftgi.com. We are sure to be one of the first retailers in America to carry this model. This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by Echo One USA. What was that, Kevin? Uh, I think we should, Josh and I think you should make up Mythbusters spoof. Myth Ad, 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 Ad,